Okay, so I kind of fucked up here. Uh, there's no microphone audio, and uh, yeah, so I'm kind of just making a clip or a small uh, montage of the arena. This is technically going to be the episode because the episode was the entirety of the arena. Uh, and yeah, I am very sorry about this, but I hope you all have a great day. Enjoy, and uh, yeah, this will be the only voices over I do, so take care and peace. It's you, the hero of Kabach. This is truly an honor. You know what brawler rank is worth around here? Nothing. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. This match is a battle of the brawlers. Let your voices be heard as these brave warriors fight for glory. Combatants, begin! Don't be coward. Okay, so you... My red room got its... Next up is a dark elf. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. Just look at the yellow team's dark elf. You can see the murder in his eyes. Can the blue team's bloodletter even hope to survive? Let's find out. Good work, Bloodletter, or should I say Myrmidon? That's right, you've risen in rank. You know how it works. More blood, more gold. Here! All right, Myrmidon. Don't be fooled by your next opponent. The little dagger he uses is actually a powerful...
Ravens combatant has slain many opponents with his magical dagger, Shiver Strike. Let's see if the blue team can end his winning streak. I guess you told that wood elf what you thought of his. You're hungry. No surprises with this next. Just a high elf with it. You showed that captain's club. What's a gladiator without an arena to fight in? The next one's a Breton.
Your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. The zero knows you're the best. I know, I know. Sometimes I wish we'd run the matches through the night too. But the yellow. Gotta move on. You're about to face off. The first yellow team hero will face is an imperial. Dang it, this guy used to be a player. You know those guys who protect the emperor? It is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champ. Well, almost the best. You've done good. You've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the great prize. Go over and talk to Isabel. And who in Shinji's name might you be? Look, if you're a spectator, go and wait. I know you. You're that new. The Grey Prince is the best fighter the arena has ever seen. He can't be beaten. If you want to challenge Agranac, go right ahead. He lives down here in the Bloodworks. Do that. Hail, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down. Most people just call me. I know who you are, of course. It's easy to guess why you're here. You wish to ch As I expected, I accept your challenge. Speak to Isabel and... So you've actually challenged the Grey Prince. Do you? Agranag Romalog is the best fighter ever to s Well, you know the drill. You let me know when you're ready for a match. And Agranag, just make sure you understand our rules of competition for this match. Okay, listen up. There are no disqualifications in a Grand Champion match. That means you can wear whatever armor you damn well please. Agranag will be wearing his raiment of valor 
and he's probably got it heavily enchanted. So feel free to do the same. Now, as you know, in any standard arena match, you're forbidden from looting the corpse of a fallen. In the event that you beat the Grey Prince, you're to remove his armor and present it to me. Then you'll get your own raiment of valor. The history. So you're ready to fight the Grey Prince, are you? Well, you can't go up. Something. Dragon heart, huh? I like it. Yeah. The grape. You damn well better be ready.